Welcome to Better Picks. In this video, we're going to show you how to touch up acne in just as little time as possible. So for starters here, I've taken four pictures of my friend Ian that I've taken pictures of. Now I've shot many more than this, but I wanted to, for the sake of the video, show it a little bit faster. They've already been color corrected to uh, make the colors, the light white balance, the exposure, some dodge and burn in a little bit to make them look good in that regard. But as we see with normal seniors in today's world, and really for as long as I can remember, we have acne problems. So if we zoom in at 100%, I recommend doing all this touch up at 100% size. So you're seeing pixel for pixel, every little dot that's there. So though it may be looking good at 25%, we really need to do it right. So let's do that this way. So I have my picture here at 100% size. Zoom it in nice and big, get my 100% size here. See the face nice and close. Now I'm using a 4K monitor, so I'm able to see it pretty closely to fill the frame. If you're using an HD monitor or something with a smaller resolution than 4K, you might have to zoom in quite a bit, and that'll change the perspective, but I really like editing with my 4K monitor. So the first step I want to do after done the color correction, I'm going to go to my masking tool. Shortcut is the letter K if you like shortcuts, and the masking tool. And I've already done a little bit of masking for the dodge and the burning. You can see what I've done in terms of brightness and darkness, and see how that's changed the exposures and in, in the uh, emphasis of my photo. A good photographer knows how to dodge and burn and make the emphasis go where it goes. I've already done that step. But for this video, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and touch out some of the acne to reduce it. And so the best thing that I do is I come up with a new mask here. I've got a new mask and I've already turned the texture all the way down. All I'm doing here, I'm not affecting color, I'm not affecting the curve, the, the contrast, I'm not even affecting the highlights. So sometimes you might want to adjust the highlights. But here, only turning down the texture to a negative 100. So it's a, a pretty intense uh, texture color. I hit K to start a new mask. It gives me the size here. I keep my flow up usually pretty heavy because I'm really trying to touch out the acne. I wanted to kind of go gradually. I wanted it to happen pretty abruptly. Uh, and I can turn my density up maybe a little bit more if I want. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead with my brush size. And I can adjust it bigger or smaller with the bracket keys right next to the letter P. The bracket keys right next to the letter P are helpful. And I have it with a feathered size. I still have it feathered. And I go ahead and start to brush out the acne. Now this isn't going to completely remove some of the larger acne, but it's going to help smooth out the wrinkles in the face, just help to reduce that look. Bring up my density a little bit so it happens a little bit faster. So heavy density, heavy flow. Not necessarily going to make it look like a Barbie doll uh, in terms of no pores, but I do want to at least soften that skin. And I'm starting to reduce some of that acne a little bit there. Do a little bit on the nose, maybe shrink it with the bracket keys. Next to the letter P, something like that. And that looks pretty good as I'm starting to do that. It also helps to reduce some of that specular highlight, that, that bright spot that was coming from my flash off to the right on the nose. And yes, I do use flash on the outside. Something like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of touch up here to soften some of the imperfections there. This one, based on the light direction, it is not as pronounced, but I'll still go ahead and I'll hit uh, the letter K to give my adjustments. Remember, my texture is all the way negative 100. I'll reduce it there just to help soften some of those pores to make it not as intense. This is really kind of doing the idea of a, of a light foundation. I know guys, typically when I shoot guys, they don't like to wear makeup. It doesn't seem very masculine to them necessarily. Uh, but a lot of them don't like to wear a little bit of light foundation. A little bit of foundation will help to remove this uh, in naturally in camera. Now if it's overdone, it looks a little fake. But we can do it pretty easily just using a little bit of foundation tool. Use K again for my shortcut. And this helps to soften the acne. It helps to reduce some imperfections. Just quickly kind of going over, reducing some of that. Now is it doing a perfect job? Not necessarily perfect. Does it look a little bit extreme? Well, it's softening. To reduce some of that acne, reduce some of the imperfections, uh, you can adjust that to taste, salt and pepper to taste a little bit with your texture. That one I might not go negative 100. It's a little intense there. For this size, the light direction is a little more off to the side. Uh, it's not as soft of an image, so there is a little more emphasis. The acne, because of my lighting, is more exaggerated. So in some of those scenes, it didn't look as bad, and a lot of that's the lighting. Uh, so the way you position your lighting uh, can change the look and the uh, pronouncement of the acne. So using this tool, just to re soften it up a little bit. It's not going to do a perfect job on some of the big acne. For that, I'm going to go ahead and use my healing brush. If I hover over here on the healing brush, is B is the shortcut for healing brush. I hit B. I'm going to do a content aware uh, removal. Healing brush can also work pretty good. I find content aware removal has gotten pretty good in Adobe Camera Raw and it's non destructive, which I like. So we'll go ahead and touch out there and it'll process a little bit based on your computer. It may go a little bit slower, a little bit faster, depending. 
I can just do a little bit of touch up just to reduce those points. All I'm doing is I'm not holding Alt, I'm not clicking the clone stamp tool, which is the clone stamp tool, I can choose where I want that to come from. I click it here and Photoshop does some of that guessing for me. It makes the hard work, the challenging work. Uh, now some people think, well, this is you know some artificial intelligence. Well, yes, it is. Uh, but in a sense, Photoshop is doing some of this for a long time. It's just gotten a lot better and you can enjoy the fact that your work is getting better and it's not taking as much painstaking work. So like that, that looks pretty good. And I can go to before and after, you know, show me even before my edits, my color changes, but it does make a big difference in the contrast. Say his face looks much better and it only took me just a, a minute or two. So and when I get to a, uh, a process, I'm not doing a video, I can do much of my editing of a face, maybe 20, 30 seconds. Move on to the next scene. I hit my clone stamp tool, touch up the big, the big areas. Uh, and I can touch up all that acne that's uh, quite offending. Now this one looks a little fake. I'm going to turn down the texture on this one. It's a little bit intense. It definitely is a bit much uh, based on the lighting and the direction of this one. Go to my mask. It's all editable later. It'll show me what's been edited. And I can go over to my settings and I can adjust that more or less. So I can go to more texture to exaggerate it more, which I don't know why you'd want to do that. Uh, but to bring down the texture, maybe somewhere in the negative 50 range instead of negative 100. It's not quite as extreme, but it is there. Go to this piece. This one wasn't as bad too. Uh, it doesn't have as much touch up work needed to be done. I'm going to go ahead and hit B to get my brush or my content aware brush. A little bit of touch up right there. A couple of different spots. And it's there. Now the goal of editing, I think, at least my favor, when I want to edit, I want to get it done. I want to get it done quickly. I don't want to spend so much time in front of the computer that I'm not enjoying life, not enjoying my family, and not getting other things done. Uh, and so I want to, I want to do my editing to work efficiently. I want to be able to work uh, as smoothly as possible, but I also want to make sure that Ian here looks as best as possible. I'm doing some of that clone touch-up work just to do a little bit of masking, a little bit of clone touch-up. Those two tools, clone touch-up and your masking to negative texture will make a big difference between what we have in the acne realm and removing the acne. So I hope you found that helpful and something you can use in your Photoshop editing in the future.